call spoofing and call masking. Uh, you know, call spoofing was initially created for fun. You know, as a prank. It was an app, you know, to call people and have them think that the police were calling them or their doctor or something else, you know, to play a prank or some local delivery place, you know. Um, but now I believe it's illegal, along with call masking. And it's because in the wrong hands it has been used to hurt people, you know, or to manipulate. Manipulate phone records and things like this. Um, you know, call masking is, is I mean, I, I went through this. I didn't know about call masking until I had left my, my ex husband. And I had incoming calls from him on my cell phone with voicemails, but when I got the phone records, his number wasn't on there. He used, a, these are apps called for call spoofing and call masking. He installed apps. <clears throat> but interestingly, you know, I kept the voicemails along with on the cell phone, you know, it shows incoming calls. I saved all that. So, you know, it correlated with his voicemail. So there was no way, you know, call masking or not, whether his number showed up on my call, on my phone records or not, the proof was in the pudding. His, it was unmistakably his voice. So, uh, he didn't, you know, I, he got outsmarted on that tip. You know, it's just so incredibly manipulative, you know, call spoofing, call somebody from a different number, have them think it's a different number just to get them to make them answer the phone. You know, yeah, I, I mean, we've all blocked our numbers where it shows unknown, you know, because we don't want somebody to have our number. But, you know, to, you know, if you're going so far as installing these apps, you know, to get over, to manipulate somebody, I would be inclined to tell you to get help, <laughs> you know. Uh, there's got to be more important things to do with your time than to be sitting around installing apps like that to try to manipulate people. You know, like I said, these were initially, uh, call spoofing was initially created for, for joking and prank and fun, not to manipulate people. And call masking, you know, it, uh, I mean, with my ex-husband, it was to try to take credibility away from me to make me look like a fool. But in the end, he was the one who, who looked foolish because I kept everything. I didn't delete any incoming calls from him, nothing. You know, I didn't do that. And the voicemails, you know, um, I mean, no, I just, you know... But I was just surprised when I got the phone records and I saw, wow, there's no record of him calling me. Even during the time, <clears throat> like the last couple of months that we were together, there was nothing. I said, and then I called the phone company and they told me, you know, about call masking. I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> you know, he really thought he was going to, you know. But the scary part is, you know, people who don't save voicemails or think, like that or whatever they end up losing you know because the courts they do rely on phone records but because I had you know I had taken screenshots of my phone to show to cor to correspond with the voicemails it corroborate it substantiated what I had said you know and stuff uh, so call masking or not uh it, it it didn't hold credence, you know, whether his number was visible on my call records or not, phone records. Um, it's a scary thing, you know, uh, when somebody is that manipulative and that treacherous. And this is not just men that do this. There are women that do this, too. You know, install these apps and, you know, because they want to manipulate and get somebody to answer the phone have them think somebody else is calling, you know. Um, so it's definitely not just men who do it to women. Oh, no, you know. Uh, but let me tell you, you know, there are ways to counter 
act this. And I'm not going to put that on here. There's a lot of things I won't talk about on here. There was a time and a day where I used to talk about whatever on social media. And don't anymore because people misuse information. And no offense, you know, because I think the average person that watches YouTube or whatever, you know, probably is looking to get informed or just curious. But there's always, you know, that one who's looking to to do harm, you know, or has some other idea in mind. So I don't want, you know, my information misused to hurt anybody. No. No. You know, um, it's just, <laughs> no. I mean, everything, you know, for me, and I can only speak for myself, you know, the things that I've done in life, good, bad, or indifferent, I've taken responsibility, I've taken my lumps, you know, and there were things that I did for survival. And at the end of the day, you know, I know why I did the things I did, why I didn't do the things I didn't do, why I said this, why I didn't say that. I know, you know, because I'm inside of me and I know what's inside of me. And I have to look myself in the face every day in the mirror, you know. So, no, uh, I have never gone so far as call spoofed or call masked. Yeah, I, I, that's great. To me, that just makes no sense. If I don't somebody have my number, I block it, you know, and that's it. You know, if I'm, um, if I'm returning a call from an unrecognizable number or something like this, I really don't do that anymore. But, you know, in past, yeah, that's what I used to do. Just block it or, you know, or, well, first I Google the number, then I would call it. Um, and now I just don't even bother. If I don't recognize a number, I don't answer. If it's a number I recognize and don't want to talk, I don't answer. <laughs> you know, it's a choice. Uh, but it's just, you know, for somebody, it just seems pretty diabolical and manipulative, you know, to to go so far as that, to shift responsibility onto somebody else. When at the end of the day, you know what the hell, you know, people have died behind that stuff. And yeah, it sounds extreme. It sounds melodramatic, but seriously, yeah. You know, people, victim doesn't realize, you know, just how serious of a situation they're in. And they end up missing or dead. And there's no phone records to substantiate and the person didn't say voicemails or the you know phone came up missing who knows but it's scary it's scary um i just you know i didn't learn about that until i started talking to people and i found out you know that this is a a newer thing a newer antic used you know by abusive people male and female and it just, you know, it's anything to take credibility from the victim. I, I don't really like saying victim, honestly, to the survivor. But there are many people who do fall victim to it because they die. Or end up maimed or in a wheelchair or some other way screwed up, you know. That's permanent. Um, not good. Um... And I, I just shake my head in disbelief. Um, life's too short for that stuff, you know, but not everybody thinks like me. You know, and I'm glad because the world would be boring if we all thought the same way. But, you know, variety is a spice, but not when you add, you know, sick mentality into it. It just, that, that sucks. Variety is great if it's all good, you know, but not when there's diabolical tendencies going on behind the scenes someplace inside somebody, you know, it's no. Uh, so if you're somebody that has gone through, you know, that is going through this or whatever, there are ways to counteract it. Talk to people, you know, they will help you. 
they will absolutely help you and uh, you're not the only person don't think you're crazy or like second like did I really talk to this person because I remember I was like wow you know how come I have voicemails and this no why isn't it you know I mean it, it messed with me until I did some homework and talked to people that I found out I'm like Jesus Christ but there are definitely ways to still safeguard yourself and just reach out to the various resources depending on what it is you're going through law enforcement is a good one if it's domestic violence domestic violence helpline national domestic violence helpline will help you there are definitely ways to counteract that and still do what you need to do for the betterment of you and if you have children your children you know so male or female survivor victim whatever you want to call it okay but uh it's uh, not to be taken lightly. Like I said, I, I know it was initially created for one thing, but what people are using it for, you know, whoever invented it, yeah, you, your mind might have been in the, your heart was in the right place. It was meant in fun, but Jesus Christ, you know, it's just a shame how people take things to their own <sighs> sinister ideas sucks but there are definitely ways to counteract it and survive you know just put it behind you you know trust me you're looking at somebody who has and um nobody will will ever have the opportunity to manipulate me that way call spoofing call me asking none of it no no not today not anymore